this is Brap with Two Struts, and welcome back to the second update of my 1991 RM250. Today I'll be showing you how to take off the head of the motor. The tools that are required to take off the head of the motor are a ratchet with the spark plug socket, a wrench, 12mm, ratchet with the 12mm socket, and a ratchet with an 8mm socket. Even though we took the radiators off the bike, there's still water trapped inside the motor. To do this, we need our 8mm and loosen up the bolt on the bottom of the water pump. Now you want to take the 8mm and loosen up the bolt on the bottom of the water pump right here. By unscrewing this bolt, it's letting all the water out from the cylinder. Now we're going to take off the top motor mount. To do this, you'll want to get the 12mm wrench and the 12mm socket with the ratchet and take off these three bolts right here. Now that we took off the head mount, we can take off the spark plug. Now with the ratchet with the spark plug socket on it, we can take off the spark plug. Now it's time to remove the head from the cylinder. To do this, we'll need our ratchet with the 12 millimeter socket and crack the head nuts. You want to take off each nut and each washer by hand. After you get all the head nuts off, you want to shake it a little bit to loosen it up, then pull it off. You can see what the head cylinder and piston looks like. By using the high power flashlight you can look at the two rubber o-rings and the cylinder wall. The brown streak on the cylinder wall means it has scarring or a seizure. What you should do next is to remove the carbon on top of the piston to find out what size your piston is. This concludes my update of my 1990 one RM250. Keep checking back for update number three about how to remove the carbon off your piston. This is Brap with Two Strokes. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like, favorite, and video response. And make sure to follow me on my fan page at Brap with Two Strokes. And keep it roosting.